Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. So you join me behind the wheel of a BMW i8. And I'm still in the car park because I basically wanted to do the whole start thing with you. It's just like when I drove the Tesla Model X um, like the other week. Um, basically, there's no noise at all. Uh, uh, the car is on. I just need to put it into drive mode, take my foot off the brake, and away we go in full electric. So I have read so much about the BMW i8. Um, really, this was the world's first hybrid supercar. You think about when it first landed, you know, the only hybrid you're going to get was a Toyota Prius. Um, so let's go out for a bit of a drive. I've got, I don't really know what to expect. It's got biblical performance. Um, it's, it's got this really lovely mix of um, turbocharged one and a half litre petrol engine. Um, powering the rear wheels, electric engine or electric motor powering the front wheels, I think this is going to be really good. The production version of the i8 was launched in 2013, yet even today it looks like a car from the future. beautiful sculpting around the rear lights lead the eye down the flanks. And those gullwing doors are just cool. I'm liking that. Now, there, there is a little bit of artificial noise generation going on in this car, um, but that's all good by me because it's going in my ears and it, it sounds great. Um, <laughs> it really does sound great. So um, I've got a relatively short drive today in this car and there's so much to talk about, so much technology in here. Certainly this mix of this hybrid power unit, I think we could probably talk about that all day long. But let's kind of put it through its paces and just just have a see how it feels to drive i mean it looks awesome this car i mean <laughs> i have to say in this particular spec it looks more like something out of batman's cave than a bmw dealership i just think it looks wicked the 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine produces 228 brake horsepower with an additional 139 bhp coming from the electric motor 0-60 is dispatched in 4.4 seconds and the top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles an hour. All electric range is 23 miles. Electric, electric. So when you're just pootling through a 30 mile an hour village, you're on full electric. There's no internal combustion engine going on at all here and it is, it's just EV quiet. Um, and you've got quite a substantial range just running on the electric if you wanted to. In fact, I've got a button on here I can just kind of put it into that mode if I like, into e-drive mode. So now I'm literally just purely running on electric. And it sounds brilliant. And it's pretty pokey, to be honest, up to the national speed limit. It's got a bit of regenerative braking, not nearly as, as much as the Tesla. It's got a nice pull away out of the corner. You know, this is, a, this is a nice sporty feel and I'm running purely on electric power. It's got, an, oh, it's got some nice handling too. So when you accelerate away, uh, you know, I can feel it's, it's kind of not really fully there. You know, it's got so much more power once the um, IC kicks in, but um, on full electric, it's actually pretty sprightly, and I can imagine driving around cities and towns. Um, you know, that would be that would be a mode that would be really, really usable, um, uh, and you know, very, very practical. The interior is as futuristic as the exterior. And this Protonic Frozen Black Special Edition, for me, is the perfect spec. 
Large sills make entry and exit tricky. And it's safe to say the boot space rules this out as being a family car. Certainly inside on the dashboard, there's a lot of familiar BMW DNA, um, uh, but <laughs> there's a lot of things that aren't so familiar. So what I really, really like, I'm not gonna talk so much about the sort of, uh, you know, the, the, the tech here. I've got the normal sort of BMW iDrive system, um, uh, and that's straight out of BMW. The interesting thing for me is that the way this car drives and the different driving modes. So at the moment, I'm in full automatic, um, I am actually in combined uh, electric, uh, if you like, hybrid mode. So the internal combustion engine's kicking in or giving me assistance whenever I need to, to make progress in the way that I want to. But what I also have is the ability to drive this car on the paddles and I've also got a sport mode. So I'm going to put it into sport mode at the next possible opportunity and just see how dramatic that is because I have a feeling it might be quite dramatic. go into sport mode and <laughs> that's more like it oh it sounds ace too and I kind of know there's a bit of artificial jiggery pokery going on there but I don't care um, and it's it's a fairly firm ride a firm but sporty ride there is a comfort mode setting so if I put the comfort mode setting on and just chill out it, it turns into a kind of more of a cruiser type uh, car. These seats are really comfortable, they look really cool. I do have to make a comment about the rear seats. I, I think they're there as a token gesture more than anything. I'm not too sure that there's a huge amount of headroom or legroom for somebody, but it's, a, it's more of a two plus two, I think. Um, but certainly when you put it into that sport mode and you put your foot on the loud pedal or electric pedal or however you call it in an i8, it certainly has a turn of speed on it. And when you lift off the gas, you've got this lovely whistle going on. It just makes you sound like you're in some kind of spaceship. And... <laughs> it gathers speed very quickly. Uh, sadly, there are such things as speed limits in the UK and I have to adhere to them, boo. But I can imagine that actually if you drove this car, if you're not really, really careful, then the boys in blue are gonna take a big interest in you very, very quickly because it's a very, very fast car, this. But it, it's, it's got a great feel to it. It really, really has. So while I'm driving this car, I've got to stop or at least try and compare it to the all-electric cars that I've driven because you know it's it's the kind of middle ground between full internal combustion engine and full electric is performance hybrid um, and it's really interesting I mean the the fuel economy figures for this I guess it really depends on what type of mode you drive it in and how you drive it but but they are huge um, and certainly if you were just doing some gentle round town driving, you're gonna be running on full electric and not using any, any petrol at all. So economy wise, it ticks lots and lots of boxes. Performance wise, it ticks those boxes too. And I just think it looks brilliant. <laughs> when you stop, it whistles. <laughs> not going to get bored of that are you? You're certainly not going to get bored of that noise. As I said it's got a pretty firm suspension setup but I've taken it down this road on purpose. It's a pretty narrow country lane, it's got pretty rough tarmac and it's dealing with it really really well. There's no rattles in here. As I said the seat's very comfortable and supportive. Oh, it's an impressive car this. Wow. it's got some urgency as well it really does pull it just pulls and pulls and the nice thing as well it's got four-wheel drive even though the drive is coming from different power formats you know petrol at the back electric at the front 
they work in unison together really, really nicely. So you know you want me to, 0 to 60 test in an I-8. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Bit slow to get away, but once it was going, it was pretty rapid. So what are my final impressions of this car? Well, it's a car I've waited to drive a very, very long time. Um, they've been around a while now, i8s, and I still think they look like they should be from 2020. They're, they're so futuristic from the outside, and you know, I've not been in the car long and it draws a crowd everywhere you stop, someone wants to have a look. The gullwing doors, are, they look brilliant. However, they are a little bit tricky to get in and out of. Just watch me try and get in and out of it. It's harder than it looks. See, so there is a technique to getting in and out of an i8 and looking elegant. Um, so heaven forbid if you're a lady and you're wearing a skirt, that would be really, really difficult, I'm sure. Um, but it is a cracking piece of technology, this car. It drives beautifully. The performance is, is really, really impressive, both in full EV mode, um, when you're in the kind of e-drive mode, it's actually a really, really sprightly little car, perfect for round town, but then you put it into the full sport mode and you get the benefit of the internal combustion engine working with the electric drive, and it's a real corker. So yeah, very, very impressed. Oh man, maybe, maybe this hybrid thing isn't so bad. I know I've given it a bit of stick on my channel recently, but having driven a full EV Tesla Model X recently and then now the i8, yeah, it's, um, they're very, very impressive. So, huge thanks uh, again to BMW UK for giving me access to this car. Again, this was arranged through the Craig TV, uh, the collective. So, um, you know, massive thanks for them. And, and again, as I said, stay tuned to the channel because we've got some brilliant stuff planned with those guys coming up very soon. Uh, and certainly into next year, we've got some amazing things planned. So um, yeah, a huge thanks to those guys. But I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed driving this car because it's brilliant. Um, if you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Ped for plenty more content to come. And I will see you on the next film, guys. You take care, drive safe. <laughs>